Uh, so yesterday, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with yes us yesterday, whether you're at Mystic Lake Casino Hotel or watching from the comforts of your own home in your PJs. Uh, it was so much fun. We we teased ahead this whole huge grand prize, this $2,500 grand uh, gift card to Shields. And we had this game, and we had the two contestants. And Robert, he goes out there, and wow. he was behind in this contest. I know. But then he nails it with this this plastic axe throwing game. And then these two were so excited, they weren't even listening that Robert had already won the game. They just kept going. So I thought that I had screwed something up because I, if I remember correctly, the first axe that he threw, it hit and dropped off and didn't stick. Right. And then he hits, he hits the next two, and I'm like, well, you, you won. He won. And we're like, hey, you won. I, you said it, I think, a couple of times. I, did. I said it. I'm like. They're still going, they are, they but I think listen. that I think that he was just Robert was in his zone, you know. You know, like Michael Jordan in the, he zone. Was in the zone. You know, he was in the, in the zone. He was really great. Yeah, so that was uh, a lot of fun. Big thank you to Shields because yes. they have been such a great partner. They uh, provided that gift card, and then uh, they let us go there and take all the yard games so that we could use them for our big competition, which was really fun. Many people have been concerned about our very own Kelly Elaine Hansen. Kel Spells took a bit of a tumble. She is okay. She, wow, she went <laughs> down. Um, she was really into the what's in your purse game where we were pulling out items from that giant purse. Kelly and Kristen were competing to see who could retrieve the most of those items from our audience members. Kelly tripped, she went down, but like a true champion, she got back up. She may have a bit of a bruised rib, but I think she's going to she, do Yeah, right. I think she's going to be. If she's, if she's a little banged up, which she, you know, she's got a skin knee, but look at her right there. She's so happy. She I played know. right through it. What a trooper. You know, that's that's true grit and toughness right there. I do feel bad. Uh, Kelly's over here, and I, I'm going to publicly apologize because I went like complete schoolyard boy on this whole thing where you fell down, and the first thing I did was laugh. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, ha! <laughs> I'm like, oh, I sh we should probably go check on I her. I ran to the edge. I know, I you like, did a much better guys. job. Like, let's go check on her. And I'm still just, like, laughing inside. I'm like, that's funny. Well, we, I, I kind of missed it. In your then, defense, it is always funny when people fall down. I mean, even when I fell down and broke my ankle in three places, which turned out to be not funny, yeah. had someone had it on video, the process of me falling yes. on the ground would have been, would have been funny. funny to watch. Except when they see your knee going one direction and your ankle going the other direction. Yeah. Like, I think that she's in pain. But yes, Kelly, I'm sorry for laughing immediately at your it demise. It was funny. Well, okay. I think we were also, Kelly was making such a big deal about testing out her running in that skirt, and if people were going to see, you know, what's going on. And so then the fact that she had, like, stretched out, tested, made sure that the skirt was going to stay in place, and then she goes flying on the ground. Yeah. Yeah, she came She came into our dressing room uh, before the show, and she's like, <laughs> we're like, what are you doing? She's like, I'm just practicing. I just want to get my run in because I want to I go full speed. So I want to make sure that, like, my skirt is good and oh my, my shoes gosh. are good. And so she was, she was warming up some for of the, the big people, moment. Some of the um, Mystic Lake team members showed me their Apple Watches after, and they, were, they got 16,000 steps in yesterday because they were running around so much, doing so much work. Aren't they amazing? Yeah, amazing crew. Uh, yes, we want to thank Shields again and thank uh, Mystic Lake because they were outstanding. Uh, the crowd was great. And there was a lot, you guys, there's a lot going on. We'll get to that here in a second, mm -hmm. too. The other thing that was really fun, we talked about ribs. Yeah. And we tried some ribs. Um, now, this was a part of the show that was um, very funny to me because it came out of nowhere when we asked um, how to eat ribs cleanly. Right. This is what happened. Yeah, there's only one way to eat a rib without making a mess. Oh, man. You want to know how it is? Yeah. Don't eat it. Here, pick this one up right here. I'll show you. Okay. Go ahead, Elizabeth. All right, I'll bring it right over here. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do it, folks. <laughs> That is the best way. <laughs> that was very fun. That's Mike from Travail, who is a clearly a total showman. He is the head judge out there at Rib Fest, which is happening uh, this summer, I believe at the end of July. We've got it all listed on our website. But what a cool time that was. And those ribs that John and Christy made, holy buckets. Yeah, just north of Memphis.
Yeah, just just a skosh, just a little bit above That's what Memphis. Called. Yeah, really yeah. good. Yeah, um, one thing out. I thought was really fun too is because we don't usually get to see you all watching the stories that we air on Twin Cities Live, and when we're out at TCL in your towns. If you've ever been to one, you know we can't have the TVs on because we'll hear an echo. We wouldn't right. even be able to do the show. So this was a real unique situation and we where we got to watch you all watching our stories. And I thought it was so much fun. And I'm like, you guys, is this how you watch at home? Are you laughing at home? Are you having a good time? It was really wonderful. Yeah, and that's the thing. And until you brought that up, I'm like, yeah, that's right. Like, we don't ever actually get to see you guys and see a reaction to what we're saying even right now in this present moment or when we roll a segment or a package. You know, sometimes we have people in studio, like we got some people in studio right now, and they give us a little feedback, mm -hmm. you know, and we hear some laughs and whatever, but it was fun to see 2,000 people watching one of our segments and we get to see their reaction. Let's take you behind the scenes, shall we? It all started with an empty stage. This is what it looked like when everybody showed up getting ready for our big show at Mystic Lake Casino Hotel. Mystic Lake, turns out, was filled with doppelgangers of us. Cardboard cutouts that were everywhere and apparently scaring the pants off of just about everybody who came up and saw them because they really looked lifelike. <laughs> they look lifelike and they're really the same size. I know. Yeah, it wasn't like small versions of us. It was like the <laughs> real, that was my real height and your real height. And you know, all of uh, all the, the staff at Mystic, even the weeks leading up to this, when they got them in, I was getting all these pictures of like where they're putting our faces in the office. They to were scare hiding people. Yeah. us. Yeah, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was very fun. So it was fun to see all of your photos that you took with us. Uh, our resident comedian, Drew Shingen, our photographer, he warmed up the crowd for us. Everybody loved his comedy set. Boy, look at that audience. Isn't that fun? There's Drew and Mike together. Drew crushed it. Yeah, good job, Drew. Lots of jokes at his own expense about being from Wisconsin, and Minnesotans yeah. love it. Yeah, I mean, you got to do some, you got to do the jokes that are like near and dear to your heart. Like that's, that's the stuff that I think people really, it really resonates with people. Uh, and then, you know, we had to come out on the stage, as Drew again, in the golf cart that I'm going to talk about. We had to come out in style. Yeah, we got you know, to ride this out was the, the best cart. way to get introduced. It was really fun. We yeah. rode out on the golf cart. You got to drive us out. And I was very worried that you were going to mix up the gas and the break and fling us off the stage into the crowd of people. But you did not do that. It well, went great. It is interesting because I've driven a golf cart a thousand times. I mean, every, it, golf cart's a thing that's it's easy. There's a break on the left and their gas pedal and that's it. I mean, it, it doesn't go super fast. But there was a little bit of nervousness mm -hmm. because I'm like, okay, this this isn't gonna like take off, <laughs> is it? You know, I didn't get to test drive this thing. And they were also behind like behind like, okay, don't go off the stage. I'm like, <laughs> I don't plan to go off the stage. Like, is it going to be like, are we going to go right up to the edge of this thing? Like, it, it seems like I got enough room to stop. Yeah. But they kind of like hyped me up and kind of made me nervous. So then I, I took it slow. I made, I made, went through the path and stopped and everything was fine. But I, there was some nerves in there. We got there. We got there mm -hmm. safely. Uh, shout out to our producing team. They were hard at work behind the scenes. This is the only photo that I took yesterday. And this is of Lauren Andrego carrying what you you see there is a ladder and then on top of that is the um, the board for the axe Backscan, throwing yep. and she carried that off the stage and then through a windy staircase down the staircase and I was like Lauren I have not had my phone this is the only picture I'm taking you with this ladder on your head because I just thought our producers are the best and they will do anything to yeah. make the show look great yeah oh there they are Lauren and Betsy and Zach Grace, There's our intern, intern Grace. on the right. Oh gosh. I mean, really, that's the thing. Our our crew is fantastic, and you guys. Um, not that you need to know all the details, but this takes weeks and weeks of planning. Lots of emails and the higher ups were having all the meetings. But our producers, you know, with the true boots on the ground, with a lot of the ideas, you know, they we had to come in our studio right here to test out a lot of stuff. Yeah. You know, bef just to make sure that. Things were going to flow smoothly, so um, everybody did a great job. A lot of a lot of hours and time and ideas and resources that went into the show, and we greatly appreciate. There you it. see the team from Mystic Lake that we got to take a picture with, which was so much fun. The line to take photos. I think we were there for over an hour taking yeah. pictures with everybody, saying hello, hearing stories. Um, it meant so much to us that you all came out. So thank you so much. What a show! What and a great show! Thing about this deal, we do it every day. <laughs> we're going to do it all over again, but right here in the studio. So.